What is up, YouTube? It's Jeep Survival from back at you again with yet another video. I'm trying out the camera in a little different position. Today, I got a series I've been wanting to start for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it and don't know where to start, so I figured I'd just do simple. And uh, it's going to be called Sunday Showdown. I'm going to put Pit. Okay, it's going to be called Sunday Showdown. I'm going to pit two different uh, I'm going to pit two different items against each other and see which one works out better. To start, I'd go with the which way is easier to start a fire. The most common way is I see people starting fires. The fire rod. Or Bic. So like the most common ways I see, so I figured I'd test them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wet them. Well, I'll, I'll do the wet test last, but first I'm gonna see which one is easier. Light a cotton ball on fire. I already have this one pre-fluffed. So I'm gonna fluff out this one. And yeah, that is going to be what's going to happen. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm trying to do this every Sunday. I may skip a Sunday. Depends on how things go. And if the series is actually liked, then I'll do it every Sunday. But for now, let's get to this. Let's go down to the tabletop. Alright, I'm back. Got the first cotton ball off left. Then I got my ferro rod. I got this with my uh, Sheriff Little Grove. I don't know what that is, I have a video on it. Red was included, so I'm with that. That did not come out as well as the other one. But, it get the point. Now, first thing I'm going to do is a typical light test. See which one's easier. Let's get to it. Okay, let's get to it. Sorry about the background noise. As I've said in previous videos, I live right next to a busy road. So, let's get to this. I personally don't have a preference on either one. I keep both of my kits. But... Start with the simple bic. Let's do a real quick test. You can see, pretty much effortless. Now we got that burning. Nice and good. Okay. Now that one's burned. Try this one. The ferro rod. Let's try it with my open L. Let's see how it works. And let's see how it works. Well, I didn't work out as planned. Let's try that again. Alright. Okay, I'm back. Let's try this again. Let's 
Since I should get my seeds out of the way. Now, when done properly, pretty much as effortless as a bick. Alright, come back. Start the water test. Got a whole container full of water. Yeah, drop them both in here. Don't really want to get this wet, so. Lucy! What are you doing? Alright. Get my dumb dog. Take the tip up. Back. Got the fur rod and the bick. I think this is going to be the ultimate test. That's kind of buoyant. That is really buoyant. There's the air left in there. I'm going to let them soak here for couple minutes I'll get back to you all right been about two minutes try out the big first I figured two minutes is about an average time you drop some in the water Kind of good. Okay. Crap. That spells disaster for the bick. Well, bick ain't lighting. Sets it's a fail. Miserably. Let me get my knife back out. Let's give a fair lot of test. Okay. Ow. Punch concrete. Yeah. That's not exactly good. My fur rod just broke right out of the housing. Damn, this test turned out to be a major failure already. Wow. Okay. I'd say that's a. Uh, It's a one up on the bick, definitely. I suppose it would help if I wasn't using a cheap ass fair rod. Well, let's talk about my knife. If y'all are interested, I'll be doing a review on this thing here pretty soon. Been EDCing it for a couple weeks, so it'll be good to put a review on. I love love the effortness of striking this ferro out with it. I like that a lot. I think my bit is dead. Quite possibly. Yeah, I pulled this out at like seven minutes. Still no light.
Hmm. I'll give it a few more minutes, try it out, see how it goes. If it actually lights, I'll get back to you. If not, we'll go straight to the tabletop. Okay. Uh, I said I'd take it straight to the tabletop if it wasn't lighting, but took the top off, see if I can help try it. But I think I killed my Bic. So I think, when it comes to fire kits, it's good to have... So I was saying, good to have multiple options. So I'm going to buy another Bic now. And I need a better ferro rod. Let's take it inside. Comes to the object of today's Sunday showdown. Uh, put a Bic versus a ferro rod. So. Cheapest problem. All right, I'm back. It comes to Big versus Farrod. Today, Sunday showdown. I only made Nin two tests, and oh, all right. oh, there we go. I actually got time to go again. So, this took like, I want to say 10 minutes, now it's lighting again, and I went in and I took the top off, I blew it out, and still want to go, but I'd have to say, fair rod wins, in case anybody at any point was wondering what this is, it's a knife sharpener. I gave them together. But as I was saying, Ferro Rod wins. Hands down wins this test. They were even on the first test. Second test, Ferro Rod took it. And that's definite. And uh, I think that's how I do this. Sunday showdown. I'll put it to two tests. If one, mm, I think I'll put it to like two, two tests. Whichever one wins, wins. If they're both tied, we'll do a epic showdown at the end or something. But for this test, Barrod takes it. This did start lighting again, so I think it's definitely smart to keep both in a kit. Which is why, I don't know if, if y'all know him, but Gear Nut, his fire kits would be perfect. He has a Bic and a Fair Rod. Smart. But, that is it for today's Sunday Showdown. Hope you guys like it. And uh, like I said, I may do another one next week. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do them weekly or bi-weekly. Not too sure. But I'll probably put another one up Sunday too. Next Sunday. But that's been it for this episode of Sunday Showdown. It's been Cheap Survival. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Over and out.